everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video review and today we are looking at the Gentle Giant Avengers Hulk mini bust. Now up until recently I thought I had created a video review of this piece because I've had it for maybe two years now. I remember I've been, I was on the hunt for it for quite some time and he was not a cheap piece and I still don't think he is um, that cheap to find on eBay or other aftermarket sites. And finally I was able to come to a great deal with a friend of mine through a Facebook uh, buy sell trade group. Mark Ruffalo has created and given us one of the best renditions of Hulk, in my opinion, as well as Bruce Banner. I'm still waiting for the day to get his own solo film, but you know, until then, we'll just have to um, be happy with what we have with Mark Ruffalo. And without further ado, let's get a look into this mini bust. And of course, first, let's take a look at the box itself. Now, this is a massive box that, you know, of course, given the size of the mini bust itself, you know, they need the box to protect it all. And looking at the front of the package, you know, I'll see how much I can get in the shot. We do have a Avengers logo with the Marvel logo at the top. We have a image of Hulk with somewhat of dimensions. It shows here the length from the bottom of the base to the top of the head is measures seven and a half inches. And I don't think I've ever seen another General Giant piece showing the dimensions on the front of the packaging. Not sure why they did it on this case, but I'm sure because of the size they want to actually tell you and show you how big this piece actually is. Taking a look at the side, we have another angle of it. And on the back, we have a image of the Avengers at the top. We have a look of Hulk right there and a short bio here if you want to pause that to take a read. And then another angle of Hulk on this side. And at the bottom, we do have the addition size. Uh, this one is limited to 654 pieces and this is number 586. And of course, we have the COA showing the Hulk mini bust and the same information on the back as well. This is quite honestly a phenomenal piece and <laughs> if you've been watching my General Giant uh, video reviews, you will most likely always or 99% of the time hear me say something along the lines of this is phenomenal, this is great, this is a truly amazing piece of art. And quite frankly, I truly believe General Giant deserves those accolades because they produce some quality, amazing work that not a lot of other companies produce. And granted, not a lot of companies create mini busts or busts and statues. Speaking in regards to DC Direct, they don't always have the greatest sculpts or the paint applications. Bowen doesn't ever, in my knowledge, do realistic approaches to mini busts. They're always um, kind of comic book and animated creations. So it's kind of hard to compare Bowen with General Giant when it comes to the realism that General Giant does bring us from the actual movies and characters. So taking a look at the face, for instance, he just did such a phenomenal job capturing Hulk's face here. And, you know, we've seen Hulk get angry quite a few times in the Avengers film and throughout the other films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And General Giant just did a phenomenal job capturing the anger, you know, in the face and the wrinkles and the eyebrows, the teeth showing. They are pretty white teeth. I'm not sure if Hulk has teeth that are that white, but they did just a great job. And you can still kind of see that Mark Ruffalo aesthetic to the face, you know, with the hair, just the way we see him in the film. And that's something I've loved about the movies too, is that we still see the character in the character. So essentially we still see Bruce Banner or, you know, the actor Mark Ruffalo in the Hulk's face. They don't completely change the CGI or they don't change so much of the face to, you know, create an entirely new look. And looking, you know, at the rest of the mini bust as well, the definition on the muscles is absolutely amazing. We have the veins popping out here and these aren't just painted. These are actually sculpted veins and you can feel all the definition going on through the back and the shoulders and the abs. And it is truly amazing how we see essentially a bodybuilder aesthetic, you know, what like an Arnold Schwarzenegger body in the Hulk that they've kind of toned down for the Avengers. Because again, going back to the other Hulk movies, we just see this massive beast, you know, tur turning Bruce Banner into the Hulk. Whereas the Avengers have actually shown him to be more human-like, if you know you want to say, um, with just the muscle definition and the actual shape of the body and again it's like essentially a bodybuilder you know that we see and just getting a zoom in on the um, chest and abdomen again just the paint and definition we have like throughout all the abs and the creases and the lines it's 
truly amazing and they did not waste any detail here even going down to the pant and looking at the button with the different color um, have a little bit of dirt here and there coming around it's just I mean they did a phenomenal job on all of this the hands right here if I can get it in view there we go you know you have a little bit of dirty fingernails right there on this one you see the the fist it is just a phenomenal piece and again some more veins on the neck right there we see his green eyes just beaming there that anger and that you know ready to fight look any Hulk fan or Avengers fan should really add this to their collection and just taking a look at the bottom real quick we again have the Avengers and Marvel logo with General Giant the Hulk mini West and 586 out of 654 so there you have it folks, uh, just a really quick review to get this out of the way. Um, again, you know, I apologize that I never got this review out sooner. Um, I have a lot of older pieces in my collection that I'm either adding later in the game or I just forgot to do a review of. So now here it is and as you can see in the background I do have the comic book or animated Spider-Man. Um, they haven't released any Spider-Man from the films yet so hopefully we do get those. I do have the Thor in the back which is signed by Chris Hemsworth. That was a deal through Celebrity Authentics and then the Iron Man mini bust as well that does light up. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please follow and subscribe all my pages and stay tuned for the next video.